colder out there today, so what better way to celebrate than staying inside and warming up with a delicious bowl of soup. January just so happens to be National Soup Month, and we're celebrating with legendary chef Emeril Lagasse. Hi, Emeril. Hey, Amy, thank you so much for having us. And yes, it is National Soup Month. What a great time of the year. Now, I know it's a little chilly in Dallas. Where I am in New York, it's about uh, 6 degrees with a wind chill factor of about 10. Ah. But I've been talking to folks around the country where it's even colder. So what a better day, a better time of the year than to have a hot bowl of soup. Absolutely. Well, what you got cooking over there? Well, I have here, I, I've been, a, a process that I've started. I'm making a very simple but one of America's favorites, a broccoli and cheese soup. I started with onion, mushrooms, and garlic, and a little bit of olive oil with salt and pepper. Uh -huh. Then I took a head of broccoli, chopped up, put it in there, cooked that for about six to eight minutes. I added chicken broth uh, to cover it nicely, uh -huh. and then brought it up to a simmer, let it simmer. I just used an immersion blender to blend it so that it's a little bit more pureed now. Mm -hmm. I got a little bit more to do, and now I'm going to start adding cheddar cheese in this to finish it and serve it with croutons. Earlier, I made a Tuscan white bean soup with broccoli rob, and I also did earlier a cream of tomato with grilled cheese sandwiches. Yum! Oh, that sounds fantastic. Hey, do you have any good tips on how to keep the soup um, containerized either, either for the refrigerator or for travel? Well, Amy, that's a good point because for the second year in a row, I have teamed up with Snapware, which is this food storage containers that are just awesome. They come in plastic and or Pyrex they just come out with. The lids fit both. They're dishwasher safe. They're freezable. They're microwavable. And a great way to just bring Amy some soup like this or the ingredients of uh, I'm getting ready to make the next soup. I just have my, my prep all in these little containers. You can do it the day before. Yeah. It's just a snap like that. Stackable. They're unbelievable. Oh, that's, that's what cool. I would recommend. I love it. I yeah. love it. Hey, um, what's your favorite soup to make during the winter? Ooh, I mean, whether it's soups, chowder, gumbo, bisques, I have to tell you that um, we probably, I would say, at least once a week right now are eating split pea soup. Mm. Lentil, lentil soup is another one. It's very, very simple. It's all about what the protein is or the vegetables. They all start with a little onion or a little carrot, celery, onion, or a little bell pepper if it's a trinity. And basically, it's just really about a good stock. And it doesn't have to be homemade, Amy. It can be store-bought as well. It sounds delicious. How can viewers uh, win a, a warm, winter warm-up trip to Orlando? Well, that's what we're doing. Uh, my friends at Snapware and I are offering a winter getaway trip to get out of the cold for four people. Uh, you can go to Orlando. You can have dinner at my restaurant in, uh, at Universal Studios. It's an unbelievable trip, but you can get all the information you want or the recipes or about uh -huh. the sweepstakes on the Facebook page of Snapware. Okay, fantastic. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing you in Dallas sometime very soon. That's one of my New Year's goals. I want to cook all and right. see Emerald. All right, Amy. Thank you so much, and thanks, Dallas, for having me. Have a great day. Thank you. So get on our Facebook page and tell us about your favorite soup. And meanwhile, when we come back, you may have gotten a new little pet over the holiday season, which means you could be in the throes of potty training. We've got some helpful advice for you when we come back. Stay with us.